Okay, guys, when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So here we go. Former inmate sentenced to 43 months in prison for role in scheme to use drones to smuggle contraband into federal correctional facility at Fort Dix. A Hudson County, New Jersey man was sentenced today to 43 months in prison for his role in a conspiracy to use drones to smuggle contraband, including cell phones and tobacco, into the federal facility at Fort Dix and for possession with intent to distribute heroin and fentanyl. According to this 30-year-old, his moniker is Juice uh, of New Jersey, New Jersey, a former inmate at Fort Dix, previously pled guilty by video conference before a uh, U.S. District Judge, charging him with one count of conspiracy to defraud the U.S. Bureau of Prisons and one count of possession of heroin and fentanyl with the intent to distribute. Uh, Juice was on federal supervised release at the time of his offense, also pled guilty to a violation of his supervised release uh, to the actual judge video, video conference. Three other men um, also uh, were actually named in this indictment for the fact that they were his actual co-conspirators, also have been charged with using drones to smuggle contraband into Fort Dix prison. And according to court documents, um, Juice, an inmate at Fort Dix from June 2017 to September 2018 participated in a multiple drone delivery of contraband into Fort Dix after his release from prison. So they did this multiple times. Uh, between October 2018 and June 2019, Juice and another co-conspirator, sir, assisted to fly drones over Fort Dix and drop packages of contraband into prison, where it was sold to inmates for a profit. The packages that Juice smuggled in included cell phones, cell phone accessories, tobacco, weight loss supplements, eyeglasses, and various other items. Juice, along with another additional co-conspirator inside of the prison, took inmate requests for specific items on contraband and oversaw the collection of payments. So these guys were made to order. These guys were taking actual requests and they were fulfilling that actual request. Uh, Juice also collected contraband for upcoming drone drops and stored it at his residence in Jersey City. According to uh, this other statement, um, Juice and his conspirators took various steps to prevent BOP officials from detecting and intercepting the contraband. They planned drone drops during the late evening hours or at night. Wow, simply amazing. When the drones were less likely to be seen, they flew the drones from concealed positions in the woods surrounding the prison. The lights on the drones were covered with tape to make it more difficult for the prison officials to spot them. Um, Juice and his conspirator used cell phones, including contraband cell phones, concealed within the actual prison to coordinate the actual drop. So there you go. That was the main key right there is that they already had their, their own logistics and they exchanged actual positions with pictures to verify where the actual drops were going to be. A contraband sample used by one of the conspirators who was an inmate at the Fort Dix contained text messages, um, you know, laying out all the profits from the sales of the actual contraband inside the prison. And in one exchange, for instance, uh, one of the co-conspirators messaged Juice about an inmate, and this is the way it's spelled, this is the way it's uh, actually printed on the actual, on the actual um, indictment. Okay, so I am, tell him 10 phones and 100 Tobacco, tobacco. He has to pay 10 bands and 500 on each phone. That sounds about right. I think that's cheap. It's in California, they're charging 900. Okay, and the uh, juice and well, even give him an ounce of weed, tell him. So they were going to actually give him a little bonus, an ounce of weed for his actual, for him putting him work in the actual facility, right? And on a uh, one of actual juices of phones, um, he responded, and oh, okay, I read, uh, oh, cell phones contain messages between him and another co conspirator about the drone drops. For example, on 2019 April, uh, Juice, along with a different co conspirator, uh, marked up aerial photos for of Fort Dix to show where to drop the contraband. There you go, that was the key right there. They had specifics on where it was going to go, so there was no miscommunication, there was no misunderstanding, and uh, and they actually got it done that way. 
with comparing actual pictures. There you go. And uh, they always they could they took into consideration if it was going to be windy. Also, they took in that actual that the logistics. Wow, pretty pretty impressive. And uh, they also found a bunch of evidence at Juice's actual residence. You know, empty empty phone empty cell phone boxes, including packages with the actual with the same cards, uh, and just just uh, the actual tobacco that was actually smuggled in the same brand. You know, he had everything in his in his actual actual home. And he did not report his actual moving of actual address. So he violated that actual, his parole there too. Well, not parole, his supervised release. He didn't report that to his actual um, supervised release agent, I guess, I guess parole agent. That's one thing I can actually be associated with. And they also found some substances regarding the heroin and fentanyl and some other weight loss um, pills. And uh, yeah. There you go. Prove me wrong. Prove me way wrong. I guess you can get away with it, you know, especially when you have that insight, you know, um, FaceTime, I guess. Yeah. And what well, more do you want, you know, along with um, exchange of actual coordinates where you actually want this actual um, exchange to be done. Okay, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe.